The theory about Kuma's backstory. Kuma was never a tyrant. It was propaganda that painted him as such. And his character takes inspiration from Ninomiya Sontoku, a Japanese philosopher born in peasantry that turned a plot of land into a thriving agricultural community. And through hard work and respect, he became the leader of the Odawara region in Japan. This is a reflection of the kind Kuma, who became the king of his country through his hard work and respect for the people, eventually becoming a self-sufficient nation that no longer needed to pay the celestial tribute. And this ideology was dangerous for the world government, because as an outlier, other countries can follow suit and join in rebellion. Eam wiping out the Lelouchia Kingdom is a parallel to the Sorbet Kingdom that shared the same fate, which is why Bonnie was coincidentally reintroduced at the end of that chapter, and why Kuma joined the revolutionaries. 